FM 88.1 WHPR, the Highland Park. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. FM 88.1 WHPR, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live streaming at FM 881WHPR.com. Past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight Sports Talk. No professionals here. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, with the Water Cooler Guru, who's running late as usual. But um, I got right next to me the free agent. What's going on with you? What's good, Detroit? How we doing? Uh, we're going to get into the NBA, but uh, I'm waiting on the guru to get in because um, there was a fraud committed up on oh, here, we, here we go me, with this fraud. The Pistons organization. Uh, what? What do that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What do the Pistons or oh, when the man, Guru I, I get here in the studios? I, I will reveal the fraud. I want to hear this fraud that was committed up on the fans and the organization of the Detroit Pistons. So we're gonna go to a commercial break. When we get back, me and uh, free agent, we're gonna go jump into the um, Detroit Tigers real fast. Oh yeah, so. them Tigers. <laughs> Yo, what yeah. <laughs> This so we'll tiger, some, everything looking downhill for you today. We'll be back on downhill. Yeah, whatever. Downhill. <laughs> 34, 37. Hey, you talking about hey. great baseball. Hey, oh, <laughs> great. What? <laughs> all right, let's have a word from our sponsors and we'll be back. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800 2 855-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Thank you very much. Um, I got a couple of more sponsors to read here. You know, our normal uh, announcer she's out today you know visiting her mother who's sick so i hope she get moms get better up there so um anyway let me start with this sponsor right here Limu original it has 70 it's 70 essential nutrients to support your healthy lifestyle give your immune system a delicious and all natural gift now, with this, um, I like about this, um, there's job opportunities, you know, for more information and opportunities, www.sjordan. I'm going to spell this, excuse me. I'm going to go back over that again. <laughs> Once again, that's www.sjordan.iamlimu.com or it's local, 248. Nine three nine zero nine two eight. Once again, that's area code two four eight nine three nine zero nine two eight. Got some job opportunities out there. Plus, you can get healthy. Sounds like a winner to me. Let's get on over to this net sponsor. This is another another local um sponsor. MotorCityStubs dot com is a locally owned business that offers low price tickets to the to the games you want to see. Got to go check that out, free agent. Uh -oh, I might. Tigers, they got them. Lions, they got them. Red Wings, plus tons of University of Michigan and MSU. They got them all. And for less than you can get at big name sites, MotorCityStubs.com. Once again, that's MotorCityStubs.com. They have great seats and great prices. I'm going to check them out because I want to go see the um, Lions, you know. Lose. Did, did well, you I, just I, I say you want to go see them, see them win? You want to go see some check. winners? I, I might have to go check this you one out because I'm going to save me some money. I got to go down here and check these Lions. These, hey, you know what? I got to go I gotta go check the, 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 the next national champion. Hey, what um, did you get a Lions this um, 
this season? What? As far as they record. 11 and 5. Um, see, once again, how much I'm a genius. You know who agree with me? Uh, Las Vegas, giving them 10 to 6, just like I picked them. Mm. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it where you calling from. And what did you get a line this, uh, this season? Hello. Hello. Uh, see, once again, how much I'm a genius. You know who? Name and where you call it from. You need to turn your computer down. Detroit Sports Jersey, name and where you call it from. It's the Google. Bye. Man, holding up. <laughs> Man, come you just, on. You just, <laughs> Bye. Get in the studio. Uh, Don't hold up the phone line. You running late. You want to <laughs> call in. Come <laughs> on. Get in the studios. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I wish I had a dog to sick on you when you got in here. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. That's the guru for you, man. <laughs> and he didn't want nothing. Oh, he please. Is he back. calling back? <laughs> Detroit Sports Jersey. Name it where you calling from. It's the guru. What's happening, man? What can we do for you? First, you can come open the door, man. <laughs> Man, are you serious? <laughs> you Bye. Because I'm going to expose you, man. Uh, hey, you going to expose me? Uh-oh. Yeah, and you, I heard you slander me on the radio, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. The door's about to be open now. Bye. You holding the line up for my true fans. <laughs> he said true fans. Where, where the true fans at today? They going to they gonna uh, have to help you today. Look at him. He got the doorbell ringing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's true to our motto. No professionals here, huh? Right. <laughs> we just show up. Look at him. He's just walking in, you know, <laughs> won't exchange seats. Look at look. Good morning, Detroit. Yeah. Is this mic on here? Yeah. Yep. Your mic ain't even on. Mike hey. ain't even on. But he got yeah. his Miami on, though. Yeah, look at that. Good morning, Detroit. Guru is here. <laughs> I want to expose Will. <laughs> well, go ahead. I'm on. Uh, what we talk? We're gonna get okay. We were talking about the um, Lions, but let's get back to this. No, NBA. you were talking about, about the Tigers. 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 We were talking about them Tigers playing better baseball. Well, we better talking? baseball. Better. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down. He's talking great whoa, whoa, whoa. better. No, no, no. <laughs> there you go with great. I said better. Wait, wait. Will, Will over here got statistics and stats. Where, where is that? Where is that in your fish wrap? I don't know. Where is that? No fish wrap, Sonny boy. Where your, your, <laughs> <laughs> where your system of cards? Right there. Look, look, look at this. I don't, look at <laughs> you. Got to check that out before you even say anything. You got to check that. Come out. on, let's just get some national lead. Are hey, you hey, serious? Hey, we winning. Now. And look at Pittsburgh oh, spanking them now, brought hey, them back well, down yeah. to reality. Then they got Texas right, coming right, up but next. But the last four out of five Texas. series. The last four out of five series, the Tigers has won. Talk to me they when they play better Texas, baseball. when they get back over to the American League, when they play Texas. Oh, they play them next week. And then they're going to they gonna have a dose, of, um, a dose of Tampa Bay coming up they after gonna that. They're going to get them, too. Oh, oh, oh okay. Them Tigers. All righty, now. Okay, I got a few stats And these is on the road, and they 17 and 19 on the road. They about to go play two of the greatest teams in the Major League Baseball. And you saying what? You said they what on the road? 17 and 19. You sure that ain't their home record? No, the home record is 17 and 18. Oh, I'm okay. looking at it right here, so I got my sources I go oh, to. Oh, my God. Source. <laughs> oh, check this out. I did a little homework last night myself, too. At this time last year, the Tigers was 40 and 35. Mm. And check this out. What place was they in? First? No, there was a game out. Oh, game, okay. A game out behind By Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they had scored 337 runs, and they gave up 326 runs. Now, at this point right now, they're 34 and, and 37, and they only scored. Now, they didn't went and paid, what, 200, 300, 400 exactly. million? Exactly, yeah. And now their run production is down at 303 runs. And, and 75 I'm games. telling you, when it comes to trade deadline, I don't think they can do nothing. I think they money-wise, they matched out to make some I mean, you know. And, and, and check this out. It, the, 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 the startling stat is uh, they gave up 326 runs this time last year, and they only gave up 318 this year. I mean, they're, they're giving up less runs, but they're scoring less runs. 
We'll be all right, man. <laughs> we playing better baseball. I, I, I didn't watch man, the game. We playing better baseball. But listen here, man. I, 37, 34 and 37 is not great baseball. I didn't say great. You keep <laughs> Where is you getting this great from? You was just scared to say it. I said it. better, not great. Listen here. Listen here. This better. is what they got coming up, right? I don't think. Um, no, we know what the schedule is. We, we know what's coming up. They got up. three we against gotta, Texas and four against um, – Tampa Bay. Okay. Well, Seven you know, games. after the What'd 28th of this month, uh, their schedule gets real rough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it starts with Tampa Bay. And then they got, um, after that, Minnesota and then Kansas City. Yeah. We'd be all right, I'm not man. impressed with them, too. They should they should split some of those, but usually Minnesota got their number when they go to their home. Yeah, Kansas City. And Kansas City give them a hard time, too, you know. So, I mean, they should, was about 50-50 with them? Yeah, the Tigers in trouble. No. Tigers are the eye. We'll be all right. I'm telling I'm you, tell man. You. They got to make some improvements. Man, you over here with your predictions. I, we, we shouldn't be. Quentin Berry is the only said. life that they have going oh, for their team right here. now. Pardon? Who else doing anything? Who is Quentin Berry? You got um, young kid they brought up from the mud here, wasn't it? Um, creation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he playing Tetris. Ain't he playing, playing good. He playing good. He playing good. Yeah. So why well, I've never heard of him? Because you ain't been watching TV. And you don't read, my brother. You have to read. Oh, I don't Put read. Put down the Scooby Doo magazines. Because yeah. <laughs> following LeBron every thirty seconds. Exactly. Skip Bayless. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you, oh, okay, okay. If you I, get out under his armpit for a well, couple of minutes. Well, and read. <laughs> well I read this. Uh, in basketball, since we're on basketball, since you mentioned uh, Skip Bayless, uh, who is the only two uh, coaches of the year that's also in the Hall of Fame as players and coaches? Name me one of the two. What, Pat Riley and, uh, and Phil Jackson? Phil Jackson. You see who's due to read? No, you don't have to do no reading. Hold on, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a clue. If you followed their careers, you would you say, you say they, they ain't, you say the, let me say, say that question again. Say, say it again. Name two, what? Two coaches that got coach of the year. Okay. And they're now in the Hall of Fame as a player and a coach. It's it got to be Phil Jackson and, um, and, Pat Riley. and Pat Riley. Just like it's got to be a conspiracy. Who is game. it? Who is it then? Who is it? It's uh, Lenny Wilkins. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Bill Charman. And you trying to say Pat Riley and Phil Jackson don't have no um as I mean a championship as a player and a coach and a um and, Did and I say champ see there you go you two I, did, did I say champ did, 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 did I say champion? No, I said the only two uh uh persons that then won coach of the year okay. and is also in the Hall of Fame as a player and a coach. Oh and oh as mm. a player and a coach. Oh okay. Okay. Okay, I, I got so. you. Now, see, you be coming. See, that's why your contest be rigged. <laughs> <laughs> you whoa, 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 That's why I so cannot. So, you didn't understand me. Why did you name two players that was coaches? I thought and- you said name two coaches that was, you know, Hall of Famers and was named Coach of the Year. And, and you know, well, when did I say all that? <laughs> <laughs> that's why. <laughs> <laughs> you got that from that? <laughs> I can't understand your <laughs> questions, brother. Uh, and neither can the fans when they call in. The <laughs> See, this is what the, I understand what the fans <laughs> go through now. <laughs> yeah, oh, <man. laughs> he confused us on the, no, on the question. Uh, no, that was a clear and cut question. I said two coaches of the year, <laughs> and it's, they're in the Hall of Fame as a player and a coach. I mean, what's so confusing about that? Oh man, I can't wait to let y'all know about this big conspiracy that went let on. Let us know then, right now. No, I got to, I got to get on the camera. Well, we're going to we, we, we a couple of minutes here, then we're going to go to a commercial break, and then I will. Uh, because know. I want to expose him. He's something he told me last night. I got to expose him. Did I told you last night? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I told you the uh, what uh, the conspiracy was. No, you didn't tell me that, man. Oh, okay then. Okay, well let's go to these commercial breaks when we come back. We'll, uh, <laughs> I'll let y'all know I'm going to give him a Bible after this so segment. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, Guru, you will be on my side after no, this. No, I won't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. I guarantee you, you will. Nah. <laughs> 
All right, let's go to a commercial, and we'll be back after this. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Thank you very much. Um, like I said, uh, my regular announcer, she's out, so I'm going to uh, run down these sponsors real fast. Well, not too fast. What of them where you can get some jobs? You know anybody need a job? You got Limu. That's L-I-M-U. Original. It has 70 essential nutrients to support your healthy lifestyle. Give your immune system a delicious and all natural gift. Nature, natural gift. For more information and opportunities, www.sjordan, that's J O R D A N, dot I A I A M L I M U dot com or 248 939 0928, area code 313, I mean, area code 248 939 0928. Man, I can't wait till she get back. <laughs> this is my weak point right here. I have one more to go. <laughs> <laughs> one more to go. Uh, MotorCitystubs.com is a locally owned business that offers you low price on tickets to the games you want to see. Tigers, they got them. Lions, got them. Red Wings plus tons. Of University of Michigan and MSU, they got them all, and for less than you can get at big name sites. Once again, that's MotorCityStubs.com. MotorCityStubs.com. Great seats, great prices. All right, all right. Speaking of great seats and great prices, the NBA let me down once again. Okay, I've been waiting 24 <laughs> hours. There was a – first of all, let me take my hat off to LeBron James. Great player. He deserved it all. And uh, people that's talking about something, they want to put an asterisk by it because it was a shortened season. That's boo-hoo crap. You didn't say that when San Antonio won it in that shortened season. Then they came back the next year to prove y'all wrong. Not the next year, the year after. Well, the year after. Okay, well, it, wasn't, it didn't matter. They still, you know. So I don't want to hear that. Excuse me. I don't want to hear no crying about LeBron. He's fine. The Kings finally been crowned. So actually, the NBA they kind of in trouble now that the pressure's uh, the bat monkey's off his back. Mm. Ain't no telling what you' about to see now. What am I, we know? Ain't no telling. Whatever the NBA conspiracy. I mean, <laughs> Taylor, we want to hear your conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, theory. I want to. I want to hear the conspiracy. Hey, you said to pay homage to my man. Hold it, but, De- Detroit. No. What, what, what y'all don't realize is <laughs> yeah, he, he, made, he made a bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. He made a bet. Now he's welching on it. Uh-oh. And now he's going to try to convince us that we shouldn't want to be honored our bet. First of all, you, it's the thing when you go in court, they call clean hands. So the bet was not made with clean hands. There was a player out there perpetrating a fraud. What? Oh, not only me. Oh. See, because when I took off my when I took off my run <laughs> run DMC glasses and put on my sexy specs, I, it became more clear what oh. was going on. Holy time out, time out, <laughs> who time out. Who's perpetrating uh, the fraud? What is and he talking the about? The Pistons organization. Oh. Y'all should be upset because I'm gonna expose this player that copied the <laughs> player that played for the Pistons uh, back in '88, '89. He got robbed due to Isaiah trading him. And that's James Harden trying to perpetrate a fraud like he's Adrian Dantley. He goes to the he plays just like he tries to. 
look at their style. He tries to play just like and what was Andrew Dayton's style? Going to the hole, getting fouled. Wasn't no, it? no, no. His back was to the basket. No, no. But he was still going to the hole, drawing fouls. My man would do the same. You know, he put his arm, um, James Hart, he, you know, every time he go to the hole, he put his, uh, the ball and uh, stand it out in front of him so people can foul. That's his game. True enough, AD did the back, you know, with his back to the basket. He grew the fake long beard Aww. trying to be AD. So, therefore, man. he was out there perpetrating a fraud on me. And the Pistons organization. The Pistons. That, that's, that's what, what I he played did. for. That's what I don't AD. Want. AD. Man, AD the only team he played for was the Pistons. No, I'm just saying though, the Pistons. No, he played for Dallas and a few more, whatever. I don't know it's who, ever, all who played. For. You don't know what I, I know. He didn't get. play for nobody to get no ring. I know that. Hey, you, you don't know what I don't get. Isaiah took the knife in his back. Hey, you don't know what I don't get. How the Pistons so got anything to do with this series? The the bet is fraudulent. Oh, it had to be called off. Just, Look, he come up, he try to find, <laughs> <laughs> and you, that's the story. He try to find, <laughs> hey, wait, 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 he try hey, to find. Hey, guru, you will admit, and come on my side. Oh, no way. He go, <laughs> <laughs> he trying to find some excuse. <laughs> what is come excuse? on, Guru, you got to hey, run with me on this one. Hey, think what about, it, see, you ain't think, it ain't, see, it ain't stuck into you yet. You going to think about it all uh, day today. Then you going to call him and say, you know what, you was right. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't you just go on and say it on the air now? Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what was so fraud about them throwing the ball LeBron in the post? Listen, I'm not taking nothing away from LeBron. I took my hat off to him. He deserved it. He played like the MVP. I mean, so he I'm, deserved I'm, I'm the just, MVP. I'm, no, but no, that I'm, guy what I'm saying from Oklahoma is, that was over there perpetrating the fraud as the sixth man, he they should take that he award got shut back. Down. Just like everybody he else, he did. get nervous in the big stage like that. He, he used that same excuse last Aww. year. He used it this year. I'm fed up. Trade him. If you can't stand up on the big stage and dance with the big boys, you can't play on my team. Nah. And I'm nah. adopting Oklahoma as my team from now on till they get rid of Aww. that bomb. <laughs> to that fraudulent AD wannabe. So, now, real, real, do you agree with me or do no. you? No. <laughs> Absolutely, positively, <laughs> you is hated. I mean, you I'm really, <laughs> hey, because a player played bad. Oh, yeah, bad. Bad. But hold on, LeBron, bad. He Le played LeBron, LeBron, LeBron did, did the same twice. thing last year. He's right. not LeBron. I'm sorry. He's not LeBron. See, so, the, so why you? LeBron. So why then? Why you making it seem like he he got to do what you? He, he went and copied AD. Oh, for everybody man. don't know, who Adrian is he? Dantley style. Who is he? You know, Adrian Dantley had the little no, five no, o'clock beard. He don't even, he don't even he play nothing like, like Adrian about Dantley. About to play Santa Claus at the mall come December the twenty fifth. Adrian now, that Dantley was your even boy. Oh, that was my boy. Now you making bets? You that was your boy last week. Who? Hard. Tarantula is my boy. You know, you was counting all three of them. And he got the fouled, and he was almost folks, fouled out folks, every time folks, he was guarding. Folks, I got something. Let, let me tell you, Brian. folks. Don't he in there to tell me last just, night. I want y'all to hear a good one. Now, I've been knowing this guy for over 20 years. He uh -oh. going to sit here and tell me that he never lied to me. Never. Just like I'm not telling you a lie now. <laughs> 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 so why you make that bet then? Because nah. I thought. Oh, I, I thought. thought. No, no, you got one part of the bet right, though. We can give exactly. you that. Exactly. Went out in five. I called that right. <laughs> hey, a dead clock is right <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, man, let's get back to this. I, he never lied to me. It now, went we, out need, we need to give him a Bible. Because how many people out there have known somebody for 20 years and they never told them a lie? Never. I'm sticking <laughs> to my story. Tell, okay, tell me a lie that I told you did. Tell I them. can hold it. This you got to have, if you bring this me one right accusing now. me in court, show me some facts where I told uh, uh, me uh, what, okay. I don't care what it is. Okay. This, 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 be a this, ghetto, this ghetto court. Okay. In ghetto court, <laughs> it's like this. I can't remember the lie you told oh, me. Oh, but you can accuse me of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, me, let me finish my statement. <laughs> I didn't lie to you, too. That's your problem. No. You the liar, not me. <laughs> you the liar. You just an honest liar. <laughs> you just... I can't remember the lies I done told you over 20 years. Because you had lied so much, you started believing them. You started believing them. So, uh, I can't remember man. the lies you told me. <laughs> Folks, y'all, this man need to have a Bible in his hand. He never lied in 20 years. That's hard to believe.
No, man, I'm sorry to say, man. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm trying to find some things here. What are my sources? Yeah, yeah, your, your sources. sources. <laughs> oh, my God. Your sources can't help you when they threw him in the post. Few, uh, they had Durant on him. They threw him down there. So I got to get into this Sue thing, too, man. What's Sue, what's Sue do? Sue in the baseball? The, the, no, the, no, the, Sue. Sue. A Dominic and Sue. I'm going to say the lady suing a, 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 a little league baseball player. For what? Why? Because he hit it with a base. Um, he, he was in the uh, bullpen warming up. Uh-huh. And uh, I guess the ball got away from him. And she was over at a picnic table and they hit her in the face and did some damage. Now she wanted to sue. Sue him? Yeah. Or the organization? No, the, ba- the, the little league player. And I'm confused. You, you can don't do go that? out to a, 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 you can a do park that? where kids are playing. I mean, it, it, they shouldn't let it go to court, but evidently it's gone. I mean, if you out at a park where they're playing baseball and you get hit with a baseball from an 11-year-old, I mean, if you don't want to get hit with a baseball, you shouldn't have went out there with the kids playing baseball. Let's take this call real fast before we go to a commercial break. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it where you calling from. You say this country, Jeffrey? Hold on. Hold on, let us turn this volume up one second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, what's going on with you? Who is this again? Oh, okay, country Jeff, what can we do? Good morning, man. I missed you, man. I missed you too. I missed that money you got. Yeah, the guru. We on the road. Here you go with this fraudulent contest. I'm about to step exactly. aside. Yeah, trick question. Throw my hands up. <laughs> hey, did you like the NBA finals? Yeah, I like those finals. Yeah, you a Miami Heat fan? Yeah, you know I am. Let's go Heat. Let's go Heat. Yeah, so what's your money up there? <laughs> <laughs> I, all right, I'm okay. Money. When we was in the green room this morning, I asked these two gentlemen oh. in the studio with me a question that they could not answer. But I'm gonna give you oh, the yeah. sa- I'm give you the same uh, opportunity since we're on basketball. The question is: There are two NBA coaches out there that they they was the coach of the year, and they also was inducted into the Hall of Fame as a player and a coach. Name me okay, one. I got that. I got that. I got that. I got that. Name one of the coach. two coaches. One of them played for uh, the Lakers, right? Yeah, one of the coaches, yeah. He played for Lakers. What's his name? No, you got to give me his name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Uh, I can't uh, believe this. No, you got to give me the name of the player. Okay. I never want to play for the Lakers. Uh, oh, and I don't think you understand my question. The question is, these guys were players and coaches, and they won the coach of the year, and they're in the Hall of Fame as a player and a coach. Name one of the guys. Pat Riley? Wrong answer. I know he said he didn't want to play for the Lakers. Yeah, but... He was a player and a coach. I don't believe that. These bombs are going to actually keep him in OKC. Of course right. they are. Man, you, why are you being disrespectful to country, Jeffrey? Man? Yeah, why are you? You hey, got the question wrong. Are you saying about ready to hang up on him? Why are you disrespectful? Why are you disrespectful? Why are you disrespectful? You know that country, Jeffrey? You're reading other articles while you're trying to concentrate on winning the guru's money. My God, they about to sign him against Oh, my God. <laughs> what did you say, country, Jeffrey? I know why I'm playing for the Lakers. He was a, he was a player and a coach. And he in the Hall of Fame. Reggie Jackson and Barry Sanders. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's football, man. <laughs> Up, you that's got football. that, man. Barry Sanders. He ain't going to play football and basketball. Hey, Country Jeffrey, did yeah, he ever see Sanders, did it? Did you get your T-shirt yet? Oh, no, man. You ain't got your T-shirt? I got to check no, at the you, post office and see what the delay is. He lying again. <laughs> there you go. He lying again. <laughs> Never lie to my fans. <laughs> I had to give a t-shirt over, uh, my, over uh, subway car. Yeah, it's on this way. I got to check with the post office and find out what's going on. Okay, I got to check. It, you answer this one. If it don't come, if it go back, and tell Google, Google, you're going to send me 25. You can keep the shirt in the car. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't let's make a deal. 
All right, Country Jeff, we appreciate you calling in. And try again next week. Oh, man. But I'm going okay, to ch- right. I'm, I'm check out for them my subway cars and that T-shirt for you um, today or tomorrow. It's about the end of the day. All right, man. All right. All right, man. 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 Let's go to a commercial break. We get back. We'll finish up with the um, NBA Tiger. Plus, I want to get into this Sue thing. I can't believe what I'm. James Harden expected to stay in OKC. Why not? He his th- comment he is he scorer. doesn't plan to be coming off anyone's bench, but Oklahoma. They got to get rid of him. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah, He's why? a fraud. So he had one he bad series. He had on one Big bad stage. series. My, I mean, uh, LeBron got scared series. last year. He's not LeBron. So what's they got to do with anything? He's not LeBron. That you if LeBron can get scared, Harden can get scared. Right. Anybody can get scared. Nah, nah, no, I'm sorry. So how you know he was scared? My sources revealed that that's why, um, you know, last year. Did, uh, <laughs> These are his sources, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Cut up this rap. <laughs> Right, with a paper clip. Can y'all see the paper clip? All right, let's go to a commercial. <laughs> we'll be back I, after I, these I, words. I ain't want to go to a commercial. Look at him. <laughs> with all the personal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Welcome back. Once again, let me um, struggle through these sponsors <laughs> until our regular announcers she I gets can't back. wait. Me, you can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> I, I want to send four right now. <laughs> All right, let's go with this number one right here. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Lemu Original. That's L-I-M-U. It has 70 essential nutrients to support your health, healthy lifestyle. Give your immune system a delicious and all-natural gift. For more information and opportunities, if you want a job, I guess what, become a distributor, I guess that's what he's looking for, you know. For more information, www.sjordan, that's S-J-O-R-D-A-N dot L-A-M-L-I-M-U dot com or 248-939. 0928. Once again, area code 248-939-0928. All right. Here goes the other one. MotorCityStubs.com is a locally owned business that offers you low prices, low price tickets to the games you want to see. Tigers, they got them. Lions, they got them. Red Wings plus tons of U of M and MSU. They got them all. And for less that you can get at the big name sites. Like I said, I'm going to check this site out for the uh, Lions. Uh, give me some tickets. But anyway, it's MotorCityStubs.com. MotorCityStubs.com. Great seats. Great prices. Go check them out. And I'm going to check you this shout out one more time for the, the veterans. I hear they got something going on. This is my PS. A service announcement. Public service in case you didn't know that. <laughs> They're having a job. Uh, like, uh, now you starting one of them, huh? At Cobo Hall. They're having a job for the veterans um, June the 26th through the 29th. It's a job fair and an open house. For more information, uh, I'll get back with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> you, how I don't have that right now. Oh, how you going? <laughs> I thought I had it, but um, I'll get back with you. you know, just go down to Cobo Hall the 26th. Through the 29th. You, yeah, there you go. There you go the information right there. 
All right, let me get off into this, Sue. 313-868-3688. Call in if you want to discuss the NBA. Or win the guru's money. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Jumping right into you, it. You Sue. still ain't told us about this conspiracy on the, the NBA. The fraud. Oh. See, they got this thing when you go into court they call clean hands. <laughs> in no, other we, words, you cannot sue me if you involved in a criminal activity. So and Chris and I was in the No, criminal. James Harding was. Oh. <laughs> so what they got to do with us? <laughs> what they got to do with us? Right. <laughs> Especially, check it out. And, and, and I'm glad you're bringing your clean hands along. Well, what clean it. part about it? I, I don't even get it. But check this out. Chris, he knew that the hands was dirty. <laughs> he the one uh, two weeks ago said it was a conspiracy in the I'm, NBA. I'm, I'm and then he turned around and bet on it. Let me explain the clean hands law to you. Uh. Say, let's just say, okay, I borrowed, let's say, $500 from you. And I'm telling you, I'm going to use this $500 to go flip it. You know, sell drugs, right? Yeah. So... I don't flip. I don't sell the drugs. So you sue me. You take me to court for this $500. Do you think a judge is going to grant you your $500 because you loaned me some money to flip some drugs? In other words, your hands are not clean. So they got this what they call a clean hand at law act in court. Your hands are not clean. His hands wasn't clean. But his hand ain't got nothing to do with our bet, though. He didn't make the bet. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, so you going to tell me if, if, if the guy that loaned you the 500 borrowed the 500 from his mama, so his mama take him to court. But since you were selling drugs, the mama can't get the money back from him? Okay. Not, right. not if, not if it's the, he knew the intent was for me to take that 500. No, no, no. No, no, I'm, talking no. no I'm talking about, no, no, no. I, I, okay, let's hypothetically. I loaned you 500 to sell some drugs. Okay. But I borrowed the money from Chris. Okay. And I didn't tell Chris I was loaning to you to, to buy drugs. Okay. So Chris take me to court to sue me to get my money back. So uh, he involved in the dirty hand because I used the money that I borrowed from him to buy drugs from but you. But you knew you was giving it to me for drugs, right? Yeah, but he didn't. <clears throat> Gotta have clean hands. I'm sorry. Got, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Don't look it up. It's the law. Don't get no. mad. Anyways, no, that ain't got oh, a third that. party. Speaking of the law, here go another lawbreaker. Works for CBS Sports. What's his name here? Pete Prisco. He had the nerve to say that Sue is the most overrated player. In the NFL, not Tim Tebow, but Sue. Now it's something else to be one of them, but to be that one. He need to do a drug test. Thank you. Because long as Tim Sue? Tebow is so I don't, Sue, not overrated. Thank you. So he, so he's, so he's saying, <laughs> my man had one good year and one off year, and Tebow had what six, seven good games. <laughs> And, yeah. no, and no good and, season. And, and he's not overrated with all this hype. And you say Sue is the, the only bag most up. overrated. The only bag up to give a press conference and when I, he gets traded. Honestly, he didn't really have a bad second year. It's just well, like, see what it is. People he, he, made he, their adjustments. They right, that's what I'm teams. saying. They started now, what he have to do is come back and to make his adjustments to their adjustments. I mean, he wasn't picking well, like them double teams. Wait, if, if somebody really, else, if you, somebody hey, whoa, whoa, step up on really, the defensive no, line. No, 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 no. If you look, if you looked at it, they doubled them. The other players really stepped up because I mean, it, his production might have went down, but other players played better. So I mean, it, it worked out in the hands of the Lions. I mean, he controlled what what was going on. It's just his production right off there. year. Let's just keep I mean, it like it a, he, is. I mean, if he had an off year compared to his, his numbers, year. yeah. Not to his numbers, year. yeah. I mean, numbers, but yeah, see, but that, it wasn't really it was no only off year. The, it's only one thing to stop his numbers from going up. They double teamed him. Yeah, that was pretty it. much. That was it. So now what he got to do is make adjustments to fight through that double team. You, know, yeah, you see what I'm right. saying? Yeah, he he right. can't come back playing the same way he did this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're you right. know what I'm saying? He got to make his. They made theirs. They didn't know what they was getting when he was a rookie. So last year, the team made their adjustments and started double-teaming him. So now he got to find a way and be in training camp to fight through that uh, double-team. Yeah, they double-teaming him. But this guy's an idiot. He's, he, he's really, you know, people kill me when things, they want to get in the spotlight. They'll say idiotic stuff like that. Because this guy can't be serious. And if he is, he needs to be fired. 
If that, he says that, sue. That sound like you, man. What? With your statement right. that you don't have to honor your bet yeah, <laughs> because of the dirty hands. Yeah, you got to come in court with the uh, dirty hands. Uh, <laughs> 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 Both of y'all need to be fired. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, uh, <laughs> you have to come in court with clean hands. It's as simple as that. So uh, yeah, he's an idiot, and I don't know, man. So much stuff going on in sports. You got your boy. He got uh, found not guilty. Roger Clemens. What you think about that, Guru? Oh, I think that's good because they really didn't have no proof. You know? Do you think he's um all of fame material? Well, they're not going to vote him in. There. No, I'm not asking. Would you they might as well. If you had a vote, would you vote him? Yeah, I'd vote him in there. You wasn't found guilty or anything, so I mean. You know, but my thing is this, right? They brought him up on charges for lying to Congress, right? Uh-huh. They run for election and lie to us every day. Can we bring them up on some charges? No. Nope. I'm confused. You, you can you lie probably to me, can. but I can't lie to you. You probably can. Huh? I'm confused about politics. I'm confused about that one. Don't tell me no lie, but I'm lying to the people every day. <laughs> you, you can make a you can make a citizen's you arrest. Know, what a waste of money, man! That's just. I mean, you, Harden you make did a average uh, twelve point four points per game. Do? We needed him. What was his? Uh, he averaged eighteen he, in the conference finals. He averaged sixteen in the semifinals. And he got locked and then, up and in then the he finals. Got eighteen in the uh, first round. Let me give a shout out to LT who retired too, with Damian Thomas, and not the original LT Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> right, you he he I was going to say he just retired. Yeah, LT. Retired yeah, LT. What would you rank him up there as running back? So would he be up in your top 10? Now, I ain't talking about Chad. I'm talking about, you know, what you did on the field. I mean, I ain't talking Yeah, about he top 10. You, you seen know, LT I, play? I, I like him. LT. Yeah, he, I, matter of fact, I'm mad at him. Like, he didn't get no ring. You, you sound like Skip Bailey, well, but he, he, I remember a few weeks ago, you were talking about you don't even rank nobody without a ring. No, 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 no. That's what it's I football said. different, that though. Exactly. That's football exactly. different. <laughs> Come on, Ma- Marino. He ain't one of the. He ain't one of your top five quarterbacks. I'm glad you mentioned Marino because me and this. He guy ain't got a. Oh, but he, he ain't got a ring. He got an argument about on. Marino. I'm just saying. He though. said Marino shouldn't be in there. Why not? He shouldn't. <laughs> but Thomason should. All in what? In the Hall of Fame? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not saying he should be in the Hall of Fame. Why not? Well, if he wanted the top ten back to all time. See, let me tell you about these these well, clubs. Oh, right? no, whoa, whoa. See, time if you out, if you was to go, right? You Wait really confusing. Wait a minute. No, no, you no, just no, 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 said no, he. I put it like this. I put it. Darrell Revis is hands down the best corner in the league right now today. Wait, wait, hands down, he the best in the league today, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. He go. His team don't win a ring, and he but we know he the best, right? Yeah, you say he's Hall of, Hall of Fame. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying he. he yeah, we he saying he the best. Let me tell you. We something. saying he Let the best in the league today, but he again. ain't got a ring. So we gonna, I mean, we gonna, that, gonna, it's good know, players that might just ain't gonna get it once and for all. Because I'm gonna tell you why. See, y'all, I think y'all misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not taking nothing away from what these guys do on the court, the diamond, the field, and this and that. I'm talking about the club, man. If you would make it more exclusive, where people like, let's say, Dan Marino. Had a championship ring, right? Yeah. It would make it these players to me, man, play much, much harder. Instead of you just throwing them in there for okay seasons and you know, they had a thousand yards or eighteen hundred points. I'm just saying, man. It okay, would but, make you it. T- but you but you see what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah, but you talking about one of the ten greatest running backs of all time. I I, I don't care. I don't care. Oh man, now you tripping. You ain't making no sense you, at all. You right now you. You ain't. talking about one of the top ten players ever, but he ain't in the Hall of Fame. Okay, I'll put it to you like this. Put it to you like this. Michael Jordan, right? Hall right. of Fame, no right. doubt, wait, wait, no wait, doubt, wait. no doubt, right? Right. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Numbers and rings, right? Right. But that's the difference. Why the hell work? is Chris Mullin next to him in the Hall of Fame? That's a joke. Get out of here. But that's, that's a, a joke. That's a joke. He in the He's thing. a joke. He in the Hall, of, in the Hall of Fame. Joe Dumas is right next to him. And man. let me tell you something else. I'm glad we brought this up to you. These top 50 players they voted is a is a joke too. Because you can't tell me LeBron ain't gonna be one of the top 50 players ever to play the yeah, game. They voted that before. They you, re- oh, they, well, they should have never voted it. That's a, that's a they joke. They got to revote. They revote every what 20 years or something. Well, they like need that. to revote today. <laughs> <laughs> Every 50 years Come on, do you agree? Come on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, but my Come point, on. My point, I'm confused now. Tarantula Ch- should be up there in the top 50. Well, when you they vote, they might. 
majority of the top 50 don't Barkley don't have one. Ewing don't have one. So what what that say? But them some they, huh? they, they some them some legends. players though. You ain't legends a legend. with no ring. That don't mean well, hold on, hold on. Me. everybody nothing. can't have a ring. Why? If you a legend, you should have one. If you a legend, so I'm expecting you to sit down, Grandpa, and tell me a story about how many championships you done won since you a legend. Or I Grandpa, in high you, school, didn't, or I grandpa in you didn't win no champ. I gotta go ahead and play this video game, Grandpa. You <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I won a nice. I was a <laughs> state champion. I was a national champion. I played for the championship. You know, I gave it. I'm, my I'm best. glad to hear your resume, but I was just using it as a hypothetical for one of these real stars. I <laughs> I'm talking about Patrick Ewing. <laughs> huh? I'm talking about Patrick Ewing. And he gonna say he was a what? You know, I was—I won the state championship in high school. I won a national championship as a collegiate. I went to—I played for two championships. I didn't win them, but you know, I got two Eastern Conference championships. You know, I did it. I, I, I know, Grandpa. Look at my trophy shelf over yeah. there, too, Grandpa. I got the same trophies, Little League pile. You know, so what, so what did you trying to say? <laughs> my trophy case is bigger than yours. <laughs> Matter of fact, I bet you shine. <laughs> you see his MVP trophy. Yeah. You see? Oh, man. I told him. I said, Yeah, I bet you somebody. Had to cut you out to make you mad to play. <laughs> he doesn't. Know, he started laughing. Oh, yeah, you right. I said, I know I'm right. Because you want to go out there, you want to shake the other people's hands. <laughs> if you could, you would bring the ball down the court for him. <laughs> you- <laughs> I mean, that's how he played when he out there being silly. You got to make him mad to make it to get him. You know I'm telling the truth, man. You know, he yeah. was about to shake their hand, laugh, and joke. Yeah, he well. commented about that, too. Oh, he did? Yeah, you talking, talking about you taught him everything he know. Oh, yeah, uh, I made, yeah. I got on his skin a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And made him mad so he could play so we could win because he was the best player on the team. But he want to go out there and celebrate. He like Don King. He said <laughs> Don. <laughs> he going to walk off the court champ. <laughs> if we lose, he going over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, uh, no, this, the Hall of Fame, man, to me, should just be a hard club to get. That's all I'm just saying. It should be like a I, hard I agree with you. I agree club. with you. You know, but a lot of people, we agree. Can we agree on this? There's a lot of people in the Hall of Fame shouldn't be there. Can we just oh, agree on that? Well, well, well thank you. in That's the, in the well, league today, then, well, if you really. You can't player in, 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 in any game shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Your, your argument ain't. ain't I'm sorry, man. I was just champions just as Well, like, he ain't not a top ten running back. It's man. just like. Okay, I put it like this. So Derek Fisher is a Hall of Famer to you? Then? No, he a champion though. He don't have the numbers though. Oh, oh, he gotta have the numbers. But you, you just said, wait, like no, 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 I said like no, Mike, no, Mike no, got the no, numbers no. and the rings. It's, it is the same thing you said. Why is Chris Mullen in so, the Hall so of Fame? So why, why, why would LT Michael be in a top ten player Mullen not be in the numbers. Hall of Fame then? Mullen got numbers, but he has no rings. But he but got he numbers. Always played on the sorriest. But he got numbers. Exactly. You just never right. The sorriest. He never had a team. Who fault is that? It ain't his. And he shouldn't have been on the Olympic team either. I said. Why it. shouldn't he? You he can shoot. Isaiah off. A per, you gonna leave Isaiah off? A person with two championship rings. You gonna a, pick Chris and Mullen? a knife in his hand? Yeah, uh-huh. And a knife in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you called it at the beginning of the show. Bro. You done your AD and a knife in his hand. Right? Okay. <laughs> Are you still walking around? <laughs> Everybody on the Olympic team, like, right. oh man, that's all right. <laughs> right. No, we can't and play with him, G Money. You know, he do got two rings, and one of the greatest players of all time, but he got that knife in that other hand. All right, let's go right. to another commercial break, and we'll get back and we'll. Uh, I want to talk about the. Uh, now that LeBron they got his ring, and it's not just in NBA, in any sports, who is the next top athlete that's, you know, the pressure's on for them to get a championship now. We'll get to oh, that Durant, when we get back. Well, well, no doubt. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800 800- 285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800 285 5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, here we go again. <laughs> 
with these sponsors. We're going to try this one more time. <laughs> all right. You looking for a job? Looking to get your body healthy? You can do it all with Limu, the original 70 essential nutrients to support your healthy lifestyle. But also get healthy and make money off of this. For more information and opportunities, www.sjordan.lamilu. I mean, M-U. Once again, that's L-A-M-L-I-M-U.com. Or area code 248-939-0928. Once again, area code 248-939-0928. You can get healthy, and you can make some money there. You're looking for people that want to make some money. So, uh, let me see. What's that area code? 248-939-0928. Looking for some great tickets to some games. MotorCitySTUBS.com is a locally owned business that offer low price tickets to the games you want to see. You want to see. Tigers, they got them. Lions, they got them. Red Wings plus tons of U of M and MSU, they got them all. And for less than you can get at the big name sites, MotorCitySTUBS.com. Once again, that's MotorCitySTUBS.com. Great seats, great prices. All righty now. Like I said, I'm checking them out. Get me some Lions tickets. Save a few dollars. Y'all want to go to the Lions game? This year? You know it. All right, then. I'm you buying those tickets? Oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll discuss that off the air. We, <laughs> hey, we, we, we might, we might need to take some road I trips. I don't you don't want to tell a lie on the tape. You don't want your lie tape. I don't want to right. that, but, that bleep <laughs> button. <everything. laughs> so we'll just do this off air. All righty. Let's talk about, um, as I said, the pressure. Who do you think the pressure is for the next athlete? Well, after LeBron... Oh, excuse me. I worked last night late. Oh, no, I mean. So we don't come asking you about the next. <laughs> no, I'm yawning. My pants, they, they, you know. They, they don't so who you think, free agent? Uh, Probably for, Pujols. Albert Pujols, you think? And, yeah, and the Prince right here in Detroit. Yeah, I would say Prince. He did. He, he is producing, okay. but we ain't getting the wins like I want to see. I'm going to say, I'm going to go back to the NBA. And say, you know who the pressure's going to be on? Who? Dwight Howard. He's a, super, he's a superstar, ain't he? Is he a superstar? Yeah. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, he do want to win it. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just saying. It's going to be pressure on him to get at least one. You know? Not if he stay in Orlando. He can stay in Orlando and no, get one. No, he ain't going to get one in Orlando. No, he can get one in Orlando. The team's so no, bad. Gee, if he go, if he, he can if get he, one in Orlando. They you just got to. sound crazy. They just got to get rid of the rest of the other players. If Deron Williams come there. They got to. Oh, he, uh, he already made made it known where he want to play. Where? The Nets. The or, uh, Nets or he going come home to Dallas. On. Which I think he going to Dallas. Come on. That's, that's that, a we joke. might see Dallas in the finals next year. I doubt it. Ooh. Oklahoma gonna rule the West for the next three to five nah. years. They, they gonna they gonna be back in the finals, but I don't know about next year. That's gonna keep all you Kobe fans. Kobe oh, ain't Kobe get ain't another yeah, ring. Kobe ain't getting another Who ring. Who was the big money athletes last year? The big money. Yeah, big money. Last year. Yeah. Kobe, LeBron, Wade. Well, I Bosch, get, I get, I get Bosch get more money than I get Bosch get more money than LeBron and and I mean, It's gonna be amazing who was number one, right? Who's number one now? I'm gonna start with number. I'm gonna start with some local product here. Sue was on the list at number fourteen. Uh oh. He Sue? made dig this though. He only made five hundred thousand from the Lions, but he made thirty five point five in endorsement. Thirty five point five million. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Whoa, 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 slow down. I know the contracts you're talking about. Then they said, man, the way they got these contracts so funny thing, man. It's just a weird thing with these um, contracts. Seriously, dog, I, I'm, I'm to my sources. We man. know you get stats wrong. No. We proved that pull, last Pull it up. Man. Pull it up. Pull it up. It's on there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, number um, 10. Guess who number 10? I mean, number 9. Yeah, number, number 10. Okay, number jump to number 10. Guess who number 10 is? Who number 10? Peyton Manning. He made $32 million in salary and $10 million in endorsements. 
Number nine is some soccer guy. Number eight is another soccer guy. We know him, David Beckman. Then Phil Mickelson is number seven. Oh, Kobe. Tiger. No, Tiger ain't doing nothing. Kobe Bryant is number six. The tennis player, what's his name, Federal? He's number um, five. LeBron come in at number four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tiger Woods come in at number three. Manny Pacquiao come in at number two. Who number one With then? 56 million in winnings and six million in endorsement. Now, this is the killer part right here. The number one guy is Floyd <laughs> Money Mayweather. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? He made $85 million and all of that was in winnings and no endorsements. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they call him Money, money May- Mayweather. <laughs> I told, I try to tell you, yeah, he get the money. He, he do not yeah, play around. Exactly. He do not play around. <laughs> he had one fight. Mm-hmm. Hey, that 80, one fight is two. eighty million. Yeah, I guess it was yeah. in the. I guess in the gates and the uh, pay per view. Man, like, hold on. Pay per view. He, he the only he, this year, wasn't he? Yeah, he fought somebody this year. You know the fight we went over his house and watched, and that was it. And he fought last year in September. No, no, no. Then he fought just a little while ago, right before he went to jail. <laughs> that was the we last fight we saw. That was the last fight we saw. That was the last one, yeah, last year. Well, it's all two. Last year. No, nah, then, year. yeah, last year and this year. He only fought one. He only fought twice. Fought twice. Yeah, yeah. but they've been two separate years. Yeah, two separate yeah. Last year and this year. Yeah. So he made for that one fight, he got 85 million. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. With the, um, with all that in uh, all in all of it. Pay-per-views or yeah. whatever. Oh, well, you helped. Yeah. You helped. No, I got mine for free. Y'all hear that, folks? He's still in cable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I complained <laughs> after the fight was over. <laughs> I can't see this. His dirty hands, law. <laughs> I can't see this. So uh, we about to wrap it up. I mean, let me ask you a quick question right here. I mean, this, this something happened to me this morning, right? Pulling into the gas station. This guy, he just standing there. You know, when the car pulled through, just standing there, he going to turn around and look at me and get mad at me because <laughs> I want to pull in and get some gas. I mean, that I mean, was his things, spot. Whatever mm-hmm. happened to you like that? That was his spot. You, you know? taking his yeah, spot. you took his spot. The driveway is his that spot. Is spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's the driveway with cars. <laughs> I can see if I was driving up on the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm looking at him like, why is he mad at me? You knew why he was mad. Oh, because I wanted gay. Oh, because he was walking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't offer him a ride. <laughs> All right. Why you ain't offer him a ride? Oh, right. man. But you, y'all but you ain't want him getting your Bentley. Mm-hmm. No, man. Come on now. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, we're going to got a few minutes here. Go ahead and give your final shout outs, your words. Go on, uh, free agent. Them Tigers playing oh, better. God. <laughs> we got we got haters over here. Y'all ain't seeing it. Yet. We got non believers. I'll put it like that. Non believers. I don't believe. And yeah, we know. And then and then Lions, we, we, we looking good. We gonna we gonna come back. You know. Come back from what? Oh oh you know you know Vegas what? got him at ten and six. Hey, like hold on. Hey, you wanna know what else uh, what, what got me? They were showing a special on ESPN the other day about our division. Mm-hmm. And the Green Bay Packers had a, a worse secondary than we do and they got named Name players, they got good players on their team. So when you say worse as in statistics, as in, I mean, hey, if you want to go statistics, yeah, they was worse. They was terrible. Go ahead, give your shout out, Guru. We're about to get up out of here in a minute. All right, oh, you hate next Look, week, <laughs> hater, <laughs> folks. You got to watch the show next week because Will will be in nah. here with a with a wife beater. Tied up to his neighbor. Of course, with clean <laughs> hands, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Tied up to. Man, we don't want him to go out there on Victor Street and go butt naked. Nah, we gonna let, we gonna keep it nah. legal. He just got to wear the it white beater. Happening. Tied up to his neighbor with a with a scarf on, and that's all we ask. To, to honor his bet. I'm gonna give a shout out to the uh, Detroit public school system here. I know y'all shocked and surprised, but dig this. See, they don't get praised for. They look how little. Biddy, they put this in the art. Look, come on now. They should have been the front page, for real. Great news for Detroit. They always want to tear the Detroit public schools down. But then nobody mentioned that um, 24 public high schools received $106 million in college scholarships and grants. Cash Tech led the way with $29.6 million um, in scholarships. Renaissance was next with $16.8 million. 
Western International High School was followed in with 14.3. And the Detroit School of Arts came in with 11.5 million. So them kids, man, learning. Uh, tell them haters they, who was hating on Cass. Yeah. Yeah. So see what I'm saying? Let's give us some love now. Where the love at for these? Come on, these are college students. Yeah. The future, love. baby. Let's I, go, I, I Detroit. Who, you who know? that brother right no, Which see, school was that? Did you hear about this on the news, though? No. Uh-uh. Which school was that mm-hmm. bastion? I'm talking about they have no future. Well, I know you're talking about, yeah, that. I know you too. Yeah, yeah. No, come on, let's show some love now. That's why, see, that's why, you know, I search and seek out these things out here. Y'all don't do that. He too, if you can just. Oh, uh, he had the change. smallest fish wrap. Hey, right. did I print this? I'm not no printer. Oh, you right. I don't if know. All those other stuff. If it was up to me, it would have been on the front page. Flat it on the front page. Unfortunately, you let somebody get get a shooting up at the Detroit Public School. I guarantee you, that's gonna be on the front page. Yeah, but this Big one, letters, but this one. Letters. Yeah, you right. So yeah, where did you find right. it at? And uh, can't tell you that reveal my sources. But anyway, <laughs> we'd like for y'all to join us. <laughs> join us next week. And if you missed yeah, any past shows, DetroitSportsJersey.com every Sunday, 10 a.m. Goodbye. Check you out next week. Peace. Be safe. And he'll be in there with the wife beater. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Sports Jersey. Until next week, same place, same time, Sundays at 10 a.m. on FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live Radio with host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM 881WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great week. FM 8. 1 WHPR Highland Park